Hello, welcome, good morning, good day, and happy modding. Thank you for joining. As usual, today's soundtrack, just some tunes, free tunes from some cool people. Hey, hey, Gonzo, good day, welcome. Thank you for the soundtrack. That brings us, of course, to the next point. <laughs> Can you actually hear me? Um, how's the music? Can you hear that at all, by the way? <clears throat> and yeah, um, today, just jumping right in, gonna get the MOMW patches update that I've been sitting on for a long time. Just get that out right away, because uh, it's one of the last holdouts for... Um, Okay, right on. It's one of the last holdouts for the Akulacan we're building over here, also known as 6.0 update for mining OpenMW total overhaul and other lists. Um, yeah, so there's just a couple things in there we want to get out. Um, I've been kind of furiously writing new deploy code, so if we have time after the patches update, we'll take a look at that. I provisioned a fresh server for us to destroy. Um, and then, yeah, we'll deploy that as needed. Hello, Eltariel. Good day. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm glad you guys are all here. Uh, thank you so much. So yeah, let's just jump right in. <laughs> yeah, powered by the L heart of Lorcan. That's what I'm saying. I was thinking about it today. Like, wow, we're we're building a Kulakon over here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, just jumping right in. Uh, so what I have here is basically the um, the total overhaul patches. Maybe you've seen it on the Nexus mods or on our very own website. Um, and there's just a lot of changes, right? Like you can see here, just. A bunch of stuff deleted. Redania restored. Mushroom tree replaced. We don't use, actually, as it turns out, either of those. Um, so, you know, just shuffle those in. Um, Imperial Town's revamp patch. We still have, but I kind of shuffled it around. So go ahead and toss that in there. And along with this one right here. Um, mysteriously named script fixes folder here is just a kind of a blanket place where I put things that are, are not going to be added. Um... And then, yeah, okay, uh, Uvirus Legacy TR patch. Um, I mean, that one's debatable. And maybe Altariel can chime in on this. But um, I think my edits previously were such that they were, like, taking things out. So maybe it will still function. Um, we'll have to revisit that one. I'm not going to actually add it. Um, and then, yeah, this one is out of date. But I plan on working with the manufacturer himself to get uh, the mod updated to work better with this. Cool. Yeah, for sure. We'll do that then eventually. It's not a priority. But yeah, so this one no longer exists for now. Um, this one still exists, just getting renamed. Toss that one in there. That's a that's a really, you know, no-brainer one that we want. Um, at least until 0 0.49 comes out. You can use Zach's Lua version. Um, yeah, okay, and then so uh, uh, better ships and boats taken out completely um, just because BCUM updated it doesn't really work with them. So no problem there um, Signpost retextured what did I even do with this one? Oh uh, hmm. I think maybe this was an attempt to make something compatible with my fast travel mod which I now just include with that so gone um, another better ships and boats another better ships and boats so that's all the deletions, but what do we got going in? Okay, so this one, Draggle Tail Shack Price Adjustment. Um, we'll go to that in a minute. Um, AF Fresh Samaris Ancestral Tomb Expanded. Uh, that one is incomplete. I think I only moved one thing for that one. Um, but let's just do this one first, because this is probably the coolest edition, which is Sophia's Clear Blue Skies. And let's just make sure we get a... Yeah, okay, I gotta get a bunch of screenshots here. We're gonna have to decide on which we want. Uh, and this was graciously contributed by our own Sophia, so props. And many, many thank yous to Sophia for that. And so, yeah, okay. Right, so I didn't actually... <laughs> I didn't actually write the readme. I just put some quick notes. Um, I don't actually know how this works to tell you the truth um which is it seemed like when i was testing this that other sky files from the vfs got used even if um our files from this one were overriding it and i don't know if that's like superstition really would have to test that um but for now i've deleted them out of my setup and i'll keep these kind of as like co commented out note here <clears throat> cool okay So 
So what do we got here? Sophia's clear blue skies. And again, if you've seen me play any time in the past, I don't know, a couple of months, this would be the uh, the replacer for skies uh, four. Though I wonder if it could just work for anything, but really it's made for that. That makes the, the clear sky, and basically any non-cloudy sky, uh, just a clear blue sky. So that Zester's excellent uh, volumetrics OMWFX cloud shaders can take over. And like the effect is just, it's... <laughs> it's magnificent. So anyway, let's do this. Clear blue skies. And uh, I suppose I'll write here what I just told you all here. So it's a, a text your replacer for... Oop. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a link to that. Using our brand new fancy search. Look at that. So fast. So good. Actually worth using. Although I did note, uh, it is broken on mobile. We're going to have to look at that. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that today. Definitely broken on mobile, though. Looks terrible. If you look at it on your phone, just don't go there. Expecting a miracle. Um, okay, a texture replacer for Skies 4 that makes the clear skies actually... Clear and blue. Maybe we can come up with a different... Uh, hey, Honger! Hello! Welcome! Glad to see you again here today. Uh, we're just here updating some stuff. Got a bunch of patches that uh, I myself have made or others in our uh, sort of crew have put together. And so, yeah, welcome. Good day. Just here updating kind of the documentation for Sophia's Clear Blue Skies. It, and, um, you know, maybe you can help me with the wording here for something that sounds decent. I don't know. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That actually, uh, Clear and Blue intended for use with and then we can go ahead and get ourselves a link shaders post tag zesters read me um, where do I get the link here zester so here we go Let's just go, I like to just stick with what the author calls their work. So let's just copy paste this here. Zesterer's volumetric cloud and mist mod for OpenMW. Probably, in my opinion, one of the biggest visual level ups we've gotten for Morrowind in a long time with OpenMW. Um, just even playing with just vanilla, which we'll get to that maybe today. Uh, I was going to write or similar, but there is none, really. It's just Zesterers. Uh, <laughs> let's zoom that down a little bit so we can read more here. Okay. <clears throat> a texture replacer for skies that makes the clear skies actually clear and blue intended for use with them. All right. Um, let's open up one of the other readme's that I've already written to kind of get a an, an idea. Nope. Nope. Don't try that at home. Wow. Struggling to find the right file. Hi, Smallio. Okay, cool. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you for checking in. Small patches. Okay, um, I want to look at something from here. Just kind of use a format I've already used for... Let's see. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, yeah, that's right. I use a special kind of heading here. You'll note right here I got four... Octothorps, um, that's a fourth level heading. That's because of the whole machine that I use to generate the website that goes out there. Uh, needs it to be like that to embed it, so more on that later. But let's go ahead and add the other headings there that we need. Uh, about. Another just really quick note about it, uh, we'll say. Thanks. Using... Guys, four whoop. Bit of a more enjoyable experience. 
short and sweet. Um, so in these, I have liked to put, uh, you know, just what it works with. Um, implicitly putting the rebirth thing out there since we're going on Nexus mods. Um, I guess it would be yes, actually, for this. Um, no, because it's obviously Zesterous for OpenMW. Um, maybe there's an, an MGE shader for uh, clouds. Somebody let me know, and maybe we can add a note about it there. But for now, it's a note. And then the usual just useful information for users. And, and again, I'm going to leave this here. Just kind of Actually, I'm going to put it at the top. not exactly sure what files we need to delete. We're going to investigate that as part of our overall 6.0 quality control and research efforts. So, okay. Um, okay, I just copy pasted all that, so let's go ahead and do I have my, nope. We'll open my config. Mm, there we go. For now, no plugins or anything, but Sophia and I have been playing around with um, potentially doing some Lua controlled stuff with Zesterers. If it actually works out and performs okay, we would, of course, uh, send that on upstream to the project. Uh, all right. Your username, not mine. Okay, I will just leave it as that, actually. fix this link after I actually push it up to GitLab. And uh, Nexus to be determined. I will upload that later. But we'll leave that there as kind of a to-do for us. Okay, and this, yeah, I'll leave that as just wrong. It's no big deal. And let's open up the change log, of course. Okay, so yeah, this is a major revision of the patches, so we're going to be version 3.0. Excuse me, I already kind of got ahead of this and started tracking new stuff here and what we added. For this one, so since we're here, <laughs> for this one, um, there are, I think, a handful of incompatibilities regarding item placements. I only fixed one so far. So what we have here is usable, but it's not comprehensive. Um, for this one, as it says, balance the price of Draggletail Shack, excellent player, home mod. Um, for a total overhaul and similar setups because we've got the uh, economy balance thing going on here, right? Like <laughs> the bargain price of 1500 gold um, out of the box for Draggletail is actually not so much. A, it's like kind of a small fortune, you know, so I've adjusted it accordingly to 150 gold, I think. Let's see here. Just open up that patch. Um, go ahead and add it. Five hundred gold. Okay, so yeah, so you know, <clears throat> excuse me, a third of the default, a lot for the gameplay, but kind of suspiciously low for such a beautiful shack. I think five hundred was pretty, pretty okay. Open to disagreement there. Um, but I played with it and I thought, eh, you can rob everything in Sedanine and maybe be rich enough to afford that and have a little left over, maybe if you're crafty enough, or if you got lucky and like find you know a guy attacking you and then take his stuff. <laughs> All right, so that's that one, though. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, since I mentioned it, we'll go ahead and add this one in. Definitely a thing we want to do. Uh, I may have had a readme in there for that one. No, not yet. Nope. And this is another kind of a boring one, but, yeah, you'll see there's an item here. Spoiler alert, if you haven't done AF Fresh. Item here. And I think there's at least one more, a book or something like that. Um, rather routine patchwork. Herdrax, our own Herdrax, did excellent research on that. Uh, if you're curious, check our GitLab issue tracker. If we get to this one, we'll look at it ourselves. Okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, what we want to do is we want to wrap up 
the edition uh, specifically of this one so we can look at it on the website. Actually get it on GitLab to begin with now. Um, and we'll note that it's a pretty simple patch here. We are just adjusting the NIF for SkyClouds01, which is what is what we get for clear, cloudy, and overcast. Um, and again, with the intention being that no to, you know, uh, lightish cloud coverage should be handled basically just by the shaders. Um, and then when it gets stormy, you know, all kinds of things happen. So, yeah. All right. Good. That's looking good, though. Uh, we updated some stuff here. Oh, still on the limbo on this, but uh, I'm going to add what we have just with the note that this is heavily, you know, heavily in progress. And then lastly, I got this one down here. Um, basically on Nexus, got verbal permission from the author themselves of the uh, randomizer for the text man uh, to kind of make it play a little bit better with uh, Ships of Vardenfell. There's a couple places uh, where the tax man would end up like inside something kind of awkwardly and so I made this and it's so uh, this is so experimental that I've used it and tested it and feel very good about it but I have just merely tossed the Delta plugin file in here and done nothing more so let's get it ready to be added shall we uh -huh. um, what is even in there it's been a, it's been a minute since I looked at that admittedly Compared to a one, which contains a plug-in here. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's get our links handy, shall we? Hmm. There we go. <laughs> this one with a very, very long title. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's um, it's it's like kind of loud here for me. I'll turn up a little bit more though. Let's jam. Um, it's yeah, it's this balance and ruin Final Fantasy VI cover of the Narsh tune from uh, FF6. I just, I hope you can hear it because I really love this. All right. Anyways, this is the patch. Um the mod rather that we're patching it just has such a long title I'm going to write patch for bleh um, alright we're doing it wow mm, no I don't think so Gonzo stem age metroid metal that sounds potentially good All right, um, this is going to be 07, I think. Signpost retextured. That was from before I just stuck it in the signpost travel. Um, Peter Blit having open permissions. Thank you. Put a number seven in there, then. Wow. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, shoot. You play guitar, Gonzo? Wow. The MOMW Project Band. It's happening. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I've been working uh, very slowly for like three years on a Doom Metal cover of Nerebar Rising. So, you know, I assume you play bass too, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, so it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Tell you what. We're going to shorten it just down to this. Get the top uh, link ready right here too. Partial matches. Love it. Gotta love it. Actually, yeah, no spaces. There we go. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and. 
and unstage that one. And actually go ahead and delete it. Um, and you know what? Shoot, I got a bunch of pictures here. Let's just take a look. Yeah, there you go. I did my homework. <laughs> so this is the intended effect of Sophia's clear blue skies with Zester's clouds and uh, God Ray's sun from uh, OMWFX shaders. And yeah, just exquisite. Yeah, I know. Just too cool for school right here. Um, and I've been playing on the Just Good Morrowind mod list, which is a, an extreme beta on the beta website right now. But it's, you know, vanilla Morrowind textures relying basically on shaders. Um, yeah, and it just looks phenomenal. Look at that. There you go. We have a little bit of, I think, the sky texture bleeding through in this one, though. Um, can you slow down the clouds morphing, by the way? Yeah, um, check it. Well, let's take a quick look at the shader because it has ch the shader has improved and changed quite a bit, especially in the past week or so um, since I took these screens. Probably actually will take new ones, but for now I'll, I'll pick maybe a handful of these and upload them, and, and we can go from there. But let's just uh, really quick look at it in-game. And uh, the dreaded interior mist makes everything pitch black bug is now fixed. So, woohoo. Much love to Zesterer for the effort on that. There we go. Everybody's favorite, uh, if you notice the particles overlap, overlapping with the ambient occlusion, or not, rather. Everybody's favorite. Let's go outside real quick. And this would be the just good Morrowind setup, by the way, that we're playing right here. Vanilla Morrowind textures. Not even met. Yeah, just the just the clear blue skies. Okay, let's open the menu and see what we got in terms of configs. So just hit F2 to get this one open, and you click on clouds for this one. And there are actually quite a few options that we don't touch in our recommended config. We're pretty conservative. You know, we just set you up with, like, what you need to work with the, the God Rays shader, you know, or light shafts. Um, if, you per if you prefer that one. So, I think what we want... Hmm. So yeah, if you're going, in particular when you're testing, as we tend to do a lot, um, yeah, it's volumetric using ray casting. Um, you can actually check it. We can actually fly up there and touch the clouds. Let's do it. Okay, hold on. So you'll note here, <laughs> this is what Gonzo was talking about, the clouds are changing a lot, and it's kind of locked to how fast the player moves, in a nutshell. Um, yeah, here we are up by the clouds here. I'm just going to go ahead and try and catch this one. Let's increase the density so we don't have to actually chase some coverage. Boom. Density. Boom. Um, I mean, yeah, here we are. We're just uh, we're up in the clouds right now. It's just... There we go. Come back down a little bit. And we're back up in here. And this is, again, this is an extreme example. I kind of just cranked everything up. Um, the nice thing about this is we can... We can go back to the defaults, even though the defaults will be broken for the, you know, the God Rays setup, but yeah. So real quick, at, quick, real quick look at what we got here. I can actually get above the clouds, too. Let's do that. Can I? Yeah, there we go. And so, yeah, you'll note that we're at, what, 10,000 speed on the player? And um, the clouds move very awkwardly when we move. It's just uh, an implementation detail, kind of. I believe due to just what the shaders get from the engine. But here I am at one speed, and I'm moving forward. And you can see it's it's more of a natural, quick kind of cloud movement. Um, and it looks a bit better, you know. I can... Let's go down to 100. You know, still looks pretty good. Um... But when you're, yeah, when you're doing what we do, uh, you know, us modless hackers, we're just testing it furiously, and you you got to run around at 6,000. You do got time for 100 speed. 
kind of get this effect going on, and it's just like not something you'll see during normal gameplay. But uh, good call off, Gonzo. Yeah, that's that. All right, back to our thing here then. Let's make sure we... So yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll pick a few of these. Let's see. I'm thinking first off... Um, ooh. That's pretty nice. Great uh, trackless Grazelands look here. Um, ooh, this one too. MD's uh, Acacia Trees. Looking really good. Ooh. This one is a little bit too sparse, but also kind of clearly shows the... Just everything crazy going on. Hmm. Not this one, even though, yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for the, you know, the sunrise. <laughs> this too. Hmm. We want to show the sun, but we also really want to put an emphasis on the sky, right? So we want a good shot. This one, for sure. We're going to go ahead and rename this one. Because that's going in. This is going to be number one. This one too, frankly. I think this should be number two. I think this one's gonna be number three. And again, this is just like, a, you know, tentative for now. We'll go with four overall. I think it's fair. Um, and we can add more later if people get some like really just screens with them, you know? Because, yeah, I mean, I could, I have definitely played, you know, Just Good Morrowind and just been like, oh my gosh, every sunrise and sunset is like, I gotta get a bunch of screenshots. So great. Mm. This one I think is pretty good. I'm going with this one too. What's this? 350. This one. All right, well, let's build it. Let's make sure that people can use it when we put it up there, and we are getting there. Um, let's see real quick, though. It's been so long since I've done anything with this project. Yikes. I don't even know how to use it. All right, yeah. We'll package, build, okay. Sure. Make. Green. Boop. Oh, make. Oh, wow. Yikes. Okay. Broken, broken, broken. Let's go ahead and fix that. Excuse me. So number one is actually this one now. And if you're wondering, whoa, whoa, what is it? what's going on here? This is the thing that happens that the GitLab robots use to put the patches in the mod in a zip file. Watch me closely. You can just see here, right, the zip command invocation. And yeah, we're just telling it what to get. This one doesn't actually have a proper number for now. We're going to exclude it. Uh, well, we'll be number to two. Um, we're going to need to do something, right? Averis Legacy, definitely not getting cut from the lists. Um, so we're going to want it to work with TR. Because obviously TR not getting cut from the list either. <laughs> hey, Alice, uh, Alice, the cat, 1700, welcome. Uh, so glad you're here. And yeah, this is what we have done, all right? <laughs> um, thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, just updating, actually, a, a pack of 
patches that we've made for our mod list on our website here. Um, doing the, yeah, doing the kind of, as you put it, the nerdy, you know, unintended work here. Um, but welcome. Yeah, thank you. We'll be testing this out in a moment. Actually, just missed our uh, screenshot kind of examination here as we're uploading the, the blue sky that you see here in this. Uh, yeah, Gre greetings to you warmly as well, Outlander. And uh, blue, beautiful skies as well. Just getting ready, though, to make sure that this is actually usable. Um, so we'll give it the right folder names here. And you can kind of get an overview of all the other patches we got here. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Thank you, Hunger. Yeah, it's very, very true. When you got Morrowind, you know, life is just a lot more simple, really. All right, speaking of simple, fewer things to put in there. Um, nice. Yeah, exactly, Gonzo. These are the things I need to smile. Some of them. Uh, okay. We're excluding YAML, and let's see, this number changed to three. Mm, that should work, right? Ooh, you know what? We gotta, let's, uh... Get these other screenshots out of the way there. Okay, all right, we got a zip file, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blue skies. Ooh, we're missing textures in there, hold up. That's un oh wait, no, jeez, I'm derping, here we go. I'm unusual, there we go, all right, all set. Yeah, well, so there's more where that came from, but yeah, certainly the volumetric clouds give the ash storms just like a crazy, maybe we should go in there and just channel that, huh? I think we will do that. Just you wait. Okay. First off, though, we need... We need to address the build process here because we got to actually make plugins for you. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. It's my hacker t-shirt. I felt it was appropriate. I knew we were going to do some patch hacking today, so... Right? So what we're doing here is this is the thing that the GitLab robots are going to run in order to turn my YAML file into an ESP for people to use. It's going to just work, I swear. It just works. Um, yeah, actually, check it. Deleted. Already done. Already done. It just works. Uh, this, going away, going away, going away, going away. Do we have any other patches here? Okay, a fresh. yeah, this is a patch, okay. Mm, okay, this is just a simple one here. Delta plugin. Convert. And I just can't help but thank Random Pal for giving this little wheel uh, a unique ID. I'm Durbin again. But every time I see that mod, got a unique ID there. Make our lives easier. Don't try that at home, folks. Yikes. Right, so we're gonna need to... Okay. Let's try it. Make, build. Might need to create a new Docker file here. It's gonna blow up.
Oh, did it just work? Hold up. Is that right? Huh, okay. Thank you past me. I already I already took care of it. Wow. Good job. I'm gonna lower my desk, hold up. This one does have scripts and everything, so this is going to be a... Oh, maybe not. No script in this one. Not yet. Cool, another simple one. I like. So, yay, less work. This one, though, is the one I was thinking of. Definitely have some scripts here. Yeah, okay. But, uh, no, we're all good. I did a good thing. Cool. Thank you again, pass me. fully expect these to break though let's see what we got here I fully expect them to break because I don't think my mock MW image supports AFresh yet maybe I did that already let's see yeah we got AFresh and some Ancest ancestral tomb thinking I don't have that in there yet we'll see I suppose um, new file here dubious of this but gonna roll with it Actually, let's add a note. So I don't forget. did wow i must have did this so long ago good job me what am i so happy about check it i did this so now we have you know i just type some words here and we have a yaml file which is just text turned into a file you can actually use in the game cool all right that's what i wanted actually okay um you know i could sit here and look at this forever let's clean all Look at the website. Whoa, yikes. Yep. It's a good thing we looked at that. And the website will be a preview for what we put on Nexus. So we want to get this right first. Oh boy, alright. Okay. Oh my, we are at a 
desperate loss of read means here. Oh my. All right, well, for now, we're just gonna put Sophia's in there because that's the one that I wrote. We're gonna take out the other ones that are. Uh, I need a reminder here because I'm old. Towns revamp is one, two, gone, three, gone, 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 gone. This is the, and again, this is the website that folks are going to see when they go to GitLab, in case you're wondering what the heck is going on. Uh, typo. Cool. All right. Finally. Okay. I got to actually replace some of these pictures. Put a Sophia's picture there. Let's see if my code, obviously we gotta rename this. Let's see if my code just works. Which turns the individual readmes into one giant readme on the website. So you can come here and kinda get an idea of what the heck's going on. Ooh, yeah, we definitely gotta update all this. Wow, we, there is much to be done. Okay. This is the wrong number. says in the readme. Just got a sanity check ourselves before we push it up there. Make sure it looks right. Good. That's the right number. That's what we want. There you go. Two, three, six. Okay. Let's rename total overhaul. Okay, we can do this easy. Check it out. In one fell swoop, here we go. Blah. Whoop. No, Firefox, I don't need you open right now. Thank you. But also, also, we can do more. We need to change... Bad. And... This. Should cover everything. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, okay, small, you know, thank you. <laughs> Are you in the store, like, getting jammed out? <laughs> Let's just... Uh, not that one.
we'll go in here and change these references individually as appropriate. No! Okay. License. I knew I was forgetting something. Personally, I'm a, I'm a modder and a creator who just wants my stuff to be available for everyone. And I don't really care about licenses or legal software stuff. I just want everybody to be able to use my things as hassle-free as possible. So if I must absolutely pick some legal stance on the matter, it's MIT, which is basically do whatever you want, have fun. In a nutshell, I'm not a lawyer. This caps text, basically. Do whatever you want. It's not on me. Have fun. Um, you know, and I'm going to leave, actually leave this verbiage here. I think I need to consult with everybody. Or maybe you can think of uh, <laughs> beerware. Yeah, yeah, or that beerware is another good one. There you go. Um, something along the lines of, you know, just if you happen to see me, buy me a beer or some other kind of beverage. For sure. Um, just a chill license that's not all like, come into my parlor. Um, yeah, just going to leave that for now and we can we can discuss what this should be. I don't want to agonize over perfection too much at this point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I missed... file hey Jeremy what do we listen to right now welcome thank you for joining this is a Tamriel rebuilt soundtrack uh, by ASCII the tune is called darkness and um, actually it's going to be featured in the latest update to our total overhaul mod list um, yeah yeah it's my pleasure um, enjoy and this is just like I like to put this on shuffle when I'm hacking on the website or making patches, you know, it kind of gets me in that Morrowind zone. Um, and then I got random Final Fantasy music in here as well. All right, let's push that up. It should be good. Again, I can agonize over perfection forever. First batch of changes for 3.0. Ooh, you know what? Let's make sure we're using the new enough. Hm. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's why it worked, because I have the masters installed locally. Okay, we need to check this. Um... What are you talking about, Johnny? Yeah, okay. I was congratulating my past self a little too soon. I don't have support for those other mods in here. No problem, though. We can go ahead and add that. Um, so first off, what do we got here? We got a Draggletail Shack. And what I'm doing here, basically, is I'm creating a fake version of Draggletail Shack that I can use to make my mod plugin automatically. It'll all come together, I promise. Uh, and what we got here is a, another Tamri Rebuilt uh, original soundtrack. Let's just go ahead and pull this up here. I don't ever know if I'm pronouncing that right, so I'm just going to show it to you. But yeah, this is another great one. Uh, 
There we go. All right. Gargle tail. Shack. Um, itself. I should actually just properly get the actual dependencies. Let's do that. Oh, you know what? We're gonna... Forgot about my normal routine for this. There we go. Exactly what I wanted. And this is how we view mods strictly as text. Uh, if you're in the Delta plugin world. My usual disclaimer there. Cool. Okay, actually, yeah, we don't want to... We'll just go ahead and note this has the usual dependencies of the, the three. And then, of course, OAAD data, so... my terminal? Where'd it go? There we go. Hmm, yeah, it's very chill. Uh, be Final Fantasy tune playing right now. Uh, draggle tail price adjustment. Okay. We're not producing that here, we're just enabling it. promise it will all be clear in a moment what the heck is going on. But again, this is my sort of system for taking a text file and making it a plugin that you can use, basically. Um, okay. Triangle tail shack. Go ahead and add this over here. It's a it's a complex machine, but it works, baby. It works. <coughs> hmm. Wait. Cool. It just works. Now it's gone. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. So this is my crazy machine for making a plugin that I can use. Uh, not I, but rather the GitLab robots can use. And we got Draggletail Shack support in there. Okay. I think. Uh, maybe ship 
yards of Bard and Fell 2. Let's see. Did I do that one? Uh, yards. Yep, so we need that one too. Okay. We just repeat that kind of blah process again to make it work. Just a fake version again, so we can just make our plugins. here for this one. Another cog in the machine always is. All right, here we go. complicated okay image make image all right look at it go oh, we got to update Delta plugin in there cool Uh, just the local name I call it. I call it something else in CI. Okay. I th think that's it. Okay. Just gonna hope for the best. Oop. Now it's all coming together. You'll get to see what the heck I was just doing here for a minute. We gotta do the thing before we can do the thing. Such as is programming, right? And this would be the thing that I was just chipping on here. Let's look at the pipelines. That's what we need to know about. Oh, okay. Sure, Smalio, you got it. Hmm? I'm the home IT person, naturally. Should have a pipeline here. What's going on? GitLab. Mm, wait, did I not? Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, there it is. Where's my pipeline? Oh, only on a tag. Yes, of course. Silly me forgetting how my own system works. Here we go. Tag, call the CI plumbers. Don't worry, I am that. Uh, the clue? This right here. If there's a tag, do the thing. Why, whatever do you mean, Johnny? Here we go. And away it goes. Now we got a pipeline. Here we go. It just works, folks. Now, is it going to be green? I'm pretty sure it will be, but we'll see, I guess. And this is doing in the cloud by the GitLab robots what I was doing here locally just a minute ago. All so we can just publish some silly mods. All right, here we go. Thank you, GitLab. Oh, we didn't add this one yet. Oh, that's okay. We'll just do another one. While we're waiting, we'll get started. Right, say just more BCR and plus. Speaking of building a Kulikon, am I right? <laughs> some way, of course. What do we got here? Yeah, success. We've got some red text here. Don't worry about that. That's just downloading Delta plugin. All right. And so what did that give us? That gave us a Docker image. You can use it at home, folks. Yay. Here we go. Number 10. I should have been doing zero. There we go. That's what we just published right there. That's today. Look it. Wow. Cool. All right. Um, what does that mean for us, though? Uh, well, we got a little bit more homework to do first. Let's do it. We need one more plugin to build against, and then we can finally publish our stuff. All right. Chocobo song. Just love it. All right. Don't try that at home. Wow. Holy smokes. And then finally, and actually Sector had a really awesome idea to remake this uh, as a small Rust command line thing where you just say like what your masters are. Super cool idea. Um, be way better than this crap, <sighs> perfectly frank. This is just kind of updating it. As you can see, is a bit of a bummer. It's a bit of a slog. go this is why I do it yeah there's just so much going on here 
would be really nice to just have a simpler, cooler tool. Um, eventually, I'll probably get there once I learn how to write Rust code. 2090, am I right? There we go. Cool. That's it. Now we can publish number 11. Now that I've filled my Docker registry with garbage. And then a support for that. Now we can finally publish our mod. All right. Number 11. Make sure GitLab is pleased. Go back here and check the pipeline. Very good. All right, so back over here to the MOMW patches way back in like 1990 that's a play on 2090 that worked better in my head um, we want 11 we were getting this ready as kind of the final bit cover it and the CI for this actually should have failed all right container registry let's just see number 11 in there cool it's there great outstanding oh wait we didn't even push it yet great cool so I can actually rebase this <laughs> squash it rather okay Off we go then. What just happened? I'm pushing all the stuff we were working on, the blue skies, all that stuff before things got into crazy land. All going up to GitLab now and hopefully we can get some eyeballs on it. It's taken quite a minute though here, quite a bit. We'll just watch Git do its thing over here while we wait. But what's gonna happen then? There's gonna be another pipeline, naturally gonna do some churning and then it will produce a zip and a website where you can download the zip from there we go okay as I said we got a pipeline Oh no, it's already blown up. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's another one I forgot. We've got to publish number 12, folks. All right. Back to crazy land we go. and tidy. Just Morrowind.
I just need to get my act together and learn Rust and make this thing. For now. We'll slog through it again. That's it. Oh, wait, nope. The make file. The good old make file. That's how we tie it all together, actually. Ah, oh, yes, the impresario. could I forget? Needs to be a map. There we go. Alright, there we go. ESP, great. I think finally, that's it. Alright. Okay, number 12. Tag number 12 on Master. Push it. Another day, another pipeline. While we're waiting, we can go back here and upgrade ourselves to number 12. What is Mach MW? What is Mach MW? That's such a great question. It's so hard to explain. Um, I will try. Let's read what I wrote in the README. Hopefully I was thinking about this already. It's a toolkit for building Morrowind mod plugins via CI. In other words, on GitLab or GitHub or things like that where you don't have access to the real files like Morrowind.esm is proprietary. You can't just stick that somewhere where your robots can grab it. You need a fake version. And that's where this comes in, right? We've got Morrowind.yaml here and as you can see, there's no proprietary data. There's just nothing. Yeah, and so Sector had the idea of making this into like a Rust tool, which is a way better idea. You would simply say, I need DR data or something that depends on it, right? And then it would produce that. Um, so eventually, in my copious amount of free time, we will do that. Okay, going back here now. We need another pipeline. I'm gonna write that in here. We need another pipeline. Come on, GitLab. You can do it, buddy. All right, you need some help from F5. I get it. We all do sometimes. There we go, finally. And wait a minute. Yeah, you're like, wait a minute. I remember. That's the thing we were just looking at a minute ago. Mock MW number 12, and here we go. Built everything. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Hold up. We got a website too, folks. That's right. Okay. Um, 
shoot. Something's broke. No patches. Hmm. Oh, it's doing this thing again. Remember this one, Gonzo, where it gives us the crap URL? Uh, okay, I will fix it. And maybe write an email to GitLab about how that's a bad default. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and I remember it's under deploy to change for some reason to change the website GitLab has kind of a confusing user interface Shh. yeah I know it's so and it's, it's going to be cacheified on this browser too so alright let's see here um, no not there alright I'm going to do what I usually do which is oh no that's right I forgot the GitLab this is a search thing. Pages. Oh, no, no. That's not what I want at all. <laughs> oh, jeez. GitLab Pages has moved. That's what I want. Deploy Pages. I'm never going to remember that. Use a unique domain. I mean, what? The domain it's going to give me when I click Save Changes, that's unique. It's based on the repo path. I don't understand... Gives me some nonsense URL that nobody's going to remember. Uh, that's a little frustrating. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a new web browser here. We can look at it in, but it's not going to be cached Good old private browsing. All right. I didn't actually replace the picture yet. It's just not there. It's broken. Cool. Okay. You can't click that because there's no release here. You can, in theory, click this. I got a, yeah, cool, there it is. Oh, wait, I have to do, I have to share this. If you weren't on Discord and you didn't happen to see what Von Django's dropped a couple weeks ago, please behold this. I'm just an old man with a skooma problem. What do you want? What? Yes, I'm Caius Cassades. But what do you mean you were told to report to Caius Cassades? What are you talking about? So, you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Yes, very interesting. So, it says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades. And that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to In which Rebo Gonzo? The website? My orders. Good. Welcome to the service, novice. Now so yeah, as you can see, the speaking at us, the Emperor's speaking everything. Ears, no pause with the dialogue. Because oh, for GitLab itself. Best. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> but leave my personal stuff alone. Those people do good work, but they're very busy, shall we say. All right, we got to put a real picture there. I'm screwing up here. Let's do that. All right. Away, Mach MW. Web, local web. We can fix this locally first. Okay, that's the one we want to replace. Let's go. typo just all over the place today wow okay um site index html and we're gonna put uh i think sophie's number one let's see or i don't know maybe this one sophie's number four Eesh, that's pretty good yeah let's do that one And so what this is going to do, when I change it in the HTML, it's going to, um, it'll just simply update on the website. Just automatically, just like that. All that crazy work that I was just doing that you're just, you know, may have all, uh, rightfully been wondering what the heck was going on. That's what it was all for. So I can have this nice, all that work so everything else can be automatic. <laughs> Story of my life. 
The Grazelands picture. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we can definitely do that. Let's look back at this one. Um, so. Yeah, number one. I think number one. I think you're right, Gonzo. Number one is what it's got to be. Let's just look at it real quick. Oh, yeah, that's right. What are you doing, Johnny? You'll see. It'll all make sense in a moment. I know I keep saying that. There's stuff in the picture in there, so we can use it. Um, telling the this is the script that builds the website. Nothing crazy. Just copying some files around um, and put the picture in the pictures folder, which means I can do this, and there we go, we got a picture that looks very nice. All right, let's put that out there. Yeah. And we'll head on back over to GitLab, our favorite place to be nowadays. Another day, another pipeline. Another 15 minutes. And this is just doing the thing again. Making the zip so you can download it. Get your own blue skies. And for that matter, there you go. It's official. you got to click the dev build link. There's no... Uh, no release yet. That's why it just kind of chugs right there. Uh, click the dev build link. Maybe by the time, if you're watching this video, you know, um, after the fact, by the time you see it, there will be an actual release. Then definitely go for that. But uh, for now, we are in the dev land. Cool. And there we go. Very nice. So nice. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. All right. Let's look at what we got here. We have a couple readmes that we got to write, though. Um, we skimped out on 04 and 05 and 07. So we've got we to gotta add those. Yeah, it's going to be a cat. You're going to have to clear your browser cache or open like a private window incognito if you're using Chrome. Um, I don't know why, but that just gets furious, furiously cached. Maybe browsers are doing more DNS these days. Okay. Five. Okay, I'm just copying the Sophia's readme as a template. Draggle Tails, number four. I can never remember. Draggle Tail Price. Or did I call it Price Adjustment? I wrote this down somewhere. Where did I put it?
beautiful. For the first time ever, by the way, my own setup is now out of date with the beta site. You guys have just been doing so much great work. I got catching up to do. Yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. Um, load order shuffling, and and I think we got a couple data pa data paths to iron out too for uh, normal maps, or just ones to straight up get rid of. Sophia was doing some research into uh, bad height maps on the mushrooms. We got a lot of decisions to make there. Uh, the Draco Tail Shack from fifteen hundred gold to. Oh, yeah, we got to fix some links, too. Almost forgot. Okay. Just like to give people a friendly little GitLab link here. Sophie's. <clears throat> okay. We're going to actually back that out. Back that one out too. That one looks good. Uh, oh, you know what? And then we need to uh, we need to explain how to load the plugin. So in here we give something like this. Just say Hey, Sector, good morning. Welcome. So glad you're here. Yeah, we're just getting the patches collection updated. Uh, one of the final things to get going for, you know, building a Kulikon, as I've been saying, 6.0. All right, jumping in here. Let's get this one now. We are number five.
here. Ah, partial matching. Which, if you were with us, we did last week. And I've just been loving it. I assume AF Fresh is not compatible with Rebirth. <laughs> And if you haven't tried it fresh yet, what we're talking about, this one right here, you got to try it. Okay. Yeah, that's what's happening in 6.0. In fact, Gonzo has done that good work, yeah. Check it out on the beta, actually. Look at this. Boom! All right, wait, hold up. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Garamy, thank you. That's a good call-out. Uh, Path of the Incarnate. Um, I believe is being updated and will return. Um, somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't talked to Clayby actually, but um, I, I believe you can hop in their Discord. Um, and yeah, I believe they're updating it. But as you can see here, check it out. Uh, beautiful Cities of Morrowind. And we'll note, we'll just go back here real quick. We'll type Beautiful Cities of Morrowind explicitly so there's no confusion here. That's all we get. Like the 30 patches and all that stuff. No more a thing. It's all one mod. And yeah, in the context of total overhaul, you can see here, this is a boom. What's uh, what's happening? So, yeah. Ah, uh, thank you, Sector. Really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, POI, coming back, I think. Uh, thank you for bringing that up, though. That's the actual link. Okay. Cool. And you can get it directly. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. Nexus Tricks. Okay. I want to see the ordering. That's what I was doing before I got distracted. Okay, so Samaris comes whoop, way before. Yeah, our pleasure. Um, and POI, uh, I think... As I understand it, again, I haven't talked too much with Clay B other than the, just hanging out here in the chat sometimes um, and on Discord. But as I understand, it's based on our list. So uh, that's cool. I love that. Mm, okay, and this was four, right? Four, 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 five. And this is a work in progress patch for sure. We got to get in there and see kind of what else is <laughs> just what else is floating. I think there's two things there though. I have done a fresh and I barely remember, but I think there's two things. All right actually read have a read me and it's actually accurate that's great finally this one quest corpses randomizer open mw head on Shipyards of Ardenfell. It's being my editor chug. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
effectively would work. Uh, no, no, because it's for OpenMW. If there's something OpenMW specific about this, I actually don't think there is, except for that it is distributed as an OpenMW add-on file. I digress. This is a really long folder path. Hello, Farga. Yeah, that's the one we need. I think that's going to do it. Let's check our work real quick. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's not going to do it. One, two, three, six. Four, five, seven. gonna do it I think let's try it again there we go seven happy readmes on one happy page we're gonna have to update the credits and stuff too though we have any OAV shipwrecks not anymore Rise of House Tobani. I don't think we're not in this one. Okay, and so now we got a couple authors we need to include. So let's do that. We got to thank everybody. That's just how we do. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming back and giving us cool stuff. And there's actually going to be quite a bit of, of Doug Goodall new stuff in 6.0. Mononaut. I haven't even checked out yet. Collaboration with MD that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. Good year to be a Morrowind fan, for sure.
this to multiple authors now. I smile every time I see this title. All right. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, I guess. will be posted on Nexus Mods eventually. Just got to get there, actually get everything working. For now, on the GitLab. Oh, you know, we should probably add the author of Skies as well. Good old pipelines. My life is incomplete without them. So we're not quite ready to put 3.0 out there, but if you're wanting to try the beautiful blue skies, definitely go ahead, hop on over to the link I put earlier in the chat, MOMW Patches. We're cached to oblivion here, so it's going to go ahead and, yeah. All right, no problem. We'll give it a, clear a clean browser. Come on now. There you go. Head on over to uh, this web page. Click the Dev Build button. And head on over to your friendly downloads folder. And get yourself. I got a couple of them here. I like it so much. But get your uh, MOMW patches complete with uh, beautiful blue skies. And this would be, I think, the kind of the centerpiece of the... Whoa, what is this? BCO. I'm just noticing that's in there. Wow. Let's clear that out of there. But yeah, get a dev build there and uh, go nuts. It's uh, as indicated in the readme. Works best... with Zesterers. Yeah, check this out down here. Here we go. Intended for use with this one. Um, just to really allow the, yeah, and, and allow the, the sky to, um, you know, work with Zesterers clouds. Um, why not use the sky replacer with Zesterers? Uh, because as, at present with OpenMW post processing, there's kind of a, a funky interaction with like particles and transparent things and post processing. Uh, and so when you replace the whole sky, it's really noticeable and really jarring. When you replace only the clouds, it's a lot less jarring. And so the compromise is to make the sky blue, like Zesterers does with shaders. Um, but with a mesh and texture replacer by Sophie. Um, and then you get less of a jarring. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. Erm, um, hey. 
Uh, you're releasing them faster for sure. <laughs> We're definitely taking our time with 6.0. What do you got, Erm? Let's see. Erm's been furiously releasing some cool new uh, Lewis stuff, so let's take a look at, uh, first off, Perfume Vampires. You didn't. So you noted that you released it on Nexus. Where's the Nexus link? Oh, here we go. You edited it at the top. Nice. Drop us a link to your new one, Erm. That's awesome. I was just about to play, but let's take a quick look at this. Perfumed Vampires by Erm allows the player to mask their undead scent by applying perfumes. I love this idea. I don't think it's 6.0 material, but certainly should be like uh, added to the website to endorse the Lua catalog and also as an interesting addition. Um, we've got devilish vampire editions, so. Oh, okay, just this one. Cool, cool. The wanted Nerevarine one. Okay. Let's look at some of your other files here. Yeah, most wanted. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I was I was looking at this one on Discord. So finally, we have a wanted level like in GTA. Finally, in Morrowind, we can have our little... <laughs> cool. I don't know if this is 6.0 material either, but it certainly is interesting edition material. Let's hop in game, though, and I can show you what I'm talking about with um, the sky and particles. We can see it with Ghostgate, actually. I'll just zip on over there. And yeah, you can just see it right here. You got like the cloud overlapping with Ghost Fence, um, you know, and it's just. But you'll note that the sky, which is just the normal blue sky texture, looks pretty good. It looks normal, right? And so it's only the clouds that are kind of awkward looking. And you don't, you know, it's obviously <laughs> kind of hard to not notice here. Uh, but it's it's indeed it's less noticeable when the whole sky is not replaced by shaders. So, but yeah, this will be our blue skies in action. And again, you know, it's uh, volumetric in the sense that, yeah, we can fly up here and, and be amongst the clouds. Um, and we got this just totally blue skybox to tie it all together, um, which, again, comes with, to be clear, comes with the shader. Yeah, yeah, Gonzo, exactly. I mean, that's like the, it's the sad reality. Um, you know, that part of OpenMW is under development. Um, so, you know, not an unsolvable problem. Yeah, and so here you can kind of see, like, Red Mountain-style weather with uh, Zestrier's shaders. Gets a little nasty, which is, in a, you know, very good thing here. And, of course, as is tradition, we get the uh, traditional Cliff Racer gang trying to kill me. I mean, are you even playing Morrowind if this doesn't happen to you? Goodbye. All right. Let's go back to GitLab and make sure we got a... We got happy pipelines. Cool. There we go. Looking good. Okay. So, again, on the current status of this, I think, uh, you know, we need to go back. We need to look at some of these. Um, this one, I don't think we'll ever need an update. That one's good to go. This one, we definitely need to revisit. Averis Legacy and TR, kind of just make sure. This thing basically uh, removed some doors added by Averis Legacy just because TR was changing interiors. And I figure, you know, less is more. Um, teleport platforms and stuff like that. Um should maybe be okay. Um, this one also probably will never need to update. And we will stop using it once OpenMW 0 0.49 comes out. We can do it with Lua Magics, our friendly neighborhood wizard, Zach. Thank you, Gonzo. Appreciate that. Draggletail price adjustment, I believe, is complete. I think 500 is a fair price uh, with our modified economy. This one need, definitely needs work. Um... We got to get in there and make sure that all the things are cleaned up and moved appropriately for Mr. Goodall's mod. Uh, Sophia's Clear Blue Skies, I think, is good to go as well. Please try it out. Um, there was some uncertainty about, like, incompatibility with other sky replacers. Matt, for example, has versions of these textures. You're going to want to load it. 
after all that. Um, and then this one, definitely good to go. I've been playing with this one for a while. It just works. Uh, yeah, so I mean, let's go back in my downloads folder. Let's clean it up. You, the user at home, can just come here and click Dev Build. Get the file, and all the plugins should be in here for you. Give them a try, and if you want to help out, um, you can come on over to GitLab and submit or submit your patch to us on Discord or any other way. But yeah, that's the project. Let's go back, way back to the beginning of the show. We kind of just jumped into this. All right. I didn't do this yet, but I'm going to keep that on the list. Um, awesome. Wow. So we're basically at time here, but we got a little bit of... Uh, extra left over to talk about some of excuse me where we're at with uh, updates and also uh, the future of the website too 6.0 shortlist looking pretty good here um, just the heroic efforts of Gonzo Sophie uh, Ronick Herjax and Sector you know carrying us through the end here but we got like so many checked boxes <laughs> it feels really good a um, couple of features that need to be implemented though first um that one should be easy. Alphabetized data folders. I can't remember if that one was tricky or not. Um, I feel like it should be easy. Create a proper section for doing it manually. And I think another one here, Gonzo, if we're going to add to the features, like backend features, we need the checkbox for mod lists. And so the intention of that would be like, you come here, you go to the config generator, you pick your mod list, What's this, Gonzo? <laughs> oh, yeah, weather occlusion for dev builds. For sure. I think Gonzo actually just added that. For sure that we're going to – I'll find that. But Gonzo, I think is this what you were talking about? <laughs> um, select your preset. I'm, I'm like, what's that? Okay, that's fine. We'll hack on it today or tomorrow um, together. We'll fix it up, though. Yeah. Um, but I'm liking it. Wow. Uh You'll come here, though, and in, so in theory, talking about the checkbox feature, um, so it's all just one. Nice. That's cool, man. I get Okay, I get what you were saying now for sure. Um, all the stuff that goes in openmw.cfg in one. Yeah, I'm feeling you. I like that. Okay. Um, but anyways, the feature I'm talking about here, the checkboxes, um, would be like, okay, you're right here now, and there's a list of the mods on the list, and you could say, like, maybe uh, I'm going to uncheck, uh, you know, I'm crazy. I'm going to uncheck the AFresh. I don't, I'm going to uncheck Vargas says hello. I don't want any consequences for robbing the stump. Um, so you could come here. You can already do it now, right? Like, you can just, you know, control, click, but that's terrible. We'll have instead checkboxes or something else, um, and you, and you could cut it down on what you need. Or an alternative, it needs to be prettier. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I noticed, too, a bunch of hideous white space here, too. We'll fix that, though. Um, but another thing I wanted to do, and I want everybody's opinion on, and I, and I think Sophie was picking up what I was putting down when I talked about it in our team chat. But what I would love to have here is another button, maybe above this, that says, you know, completed. And so when you install Patch for Purist, you'll click the completed button. And that way, when you go to the CFG generator and you click the total overhaul preset, you're only going to get results for the stuff you completed. That's something I think we could reasonably implement before 6.0 with a, just a little bit of JavaScript. Um, and I think that would go a long way for helping folks like uh, Sector mentioned, uh, our friend uh, uh, Bowser in Discord, who is currently going through total overhaul. Um, and it would be really nice for their effort, right, to uh, help them test it as they go along. And so, yeah. We could have something kind of along those lines, right? Like a, a completed or so, something like that. And then it's like a stone's throw away from just having like a shopping cart style mod list, right? Where you just browse the website, say, you know, I want to, let's say, uh, combat, you know, and just boom, I pick some stuff, add it, you know, uh, add to cart kind of a user experience. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, but then we would really need to flesh out like uh, what Gonzo already started on, which was like saying this plugin depends on that. Um, and so forth. So it's kind of what I'm thinking for the future in terms of um, things that I want to get done, features for the website for 6.0. And another thing is rewriting the deploy code of the website. Um, let's 
see here. And uh, yeah, thank you, Gonzo. I appreciate that. And so I'm using something called Ansible um, for the deploy code for the website. I've been actually using Ansible for yikes. Let's see. Ansible read the docs. I've been using Ansible for over 10 years now or close to 10 years. Um, but it's basically a it's a what is this? Yikes. Okay. <sighs> Their docs are way broken. Um, this is not even the doc I was looking at earlier. They have a read the doc set up like OpenMW. Here we go. Right? Yeah. Well, this is Ansible doc anyways. Um, it's a command line thing that you run to configure your server. Um, and so let's go here. I'm on the play. And I had only gotten as far as like getting some basic stuff set up for the application, but the intention is that we can run some code to put the website on the server and update it quickly. I already rewrote the stuff that makes the server kind of, um, we can look at, uh, YAML. Nope. this is the stuff that sets up like the server backend, right? So we got like a, a user to run the web app. We got an Nginx web server to you know put it out there at port 443. We got memcached, which is how we kind of cheat and get pretty good performance on this guy right here. Just, you know, super weak, cheap server, but it's actually a pretty unreasonably good SQLite database. Um, and then this thing here, which will go through and um, set up the rest of the system. And just to take a quick look at that, Django system tasks. Uh, it's not complete yet. It's not totally complete. We haven't installed the Python stuff we're going to need to run the web app, but um, basically this whole block here are just files needed to run the, the program that is the website. And then this is uh, to install the Nginx web server config. Uh, and all that amounts to what you see here on the web page. And so we're going to have a new one that's going to be testing dot modding openmw.com it's going to live on a new server um and soon very soon here we're going to start pushing the beta to it and the staging website um it has a newer operating system than what the the main website has now the latest version of debian number 11 um and yeah we'll have what we will have soon pre-2090 um is we'll have pipelines more and more pipelines i told you my life is incomplete without pipelines um but we will have pipelines that will push the code out to the website and update it automatically. So as soon as we push a change here, you know, I mean, you can come to this uh, merge request Gonzo's got open and you can just see how furiously they're hacking away at 6.0. It's crazy. Um, but automatically each time the website will update because right now it's kind of waiting on me to have some free time to do it. And yeah, just, I mean, look at this. It just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. So much excellent work by these wonderful people here. I love you all. Um, and yeah, so eventually that's all going to be automated and it will update the beta website or maybe uh, we'll have some other machination to allow multiple merge requests open at once and we can see those on the website. More development will be needed. But yeah, um, you know, maybe next week we'll look at this if I just don't totally <laughs> write it before then. But uh, yeah, okay, well back to our list we didn't write any new deploy code but uh i looked at it um and we not we don't need to deploy the website so with that i think we've checked everything off for today it's 11 11 um 12 years ago i think skyrim came out something like that i forget when exactly skyrim came out but i know that it was 11 11 i think um wow yeah happy birthday skyrim 11 11 11 yeah happy birthday todd it's almost literally his birthday. Um, all right. Well, thank you as always for joining. Uh, oh, we don't. We will miss Skyrim until we play it again in OpenMW. Um, thank you for joining. Happy modding as well, always. And uh, maybe we'll do some gameplay tomorrow. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do some 6.0 hacking. It all depends on where we go. You know, in between now and then. But uh, have a lovely day, and we'll see you in the next stream. Cheers.